Before starting this tutorial, you need to go to my other tutorial that shows you how to make the simple BB rifle and follow all the steps apart from the barrel. So once you've done that, come back to this tutorial and we'll convert what you will have made in the previous tutorial into the bolt action rifle. For this tutorial, you will need uh, an old tic tac box, two 6mm diameter pen tubes, so you can get them from mechanical pencils or uh, any pens that are like that. You also need some scrap plywood, um, as long as you have at least 10 centimeters by maybe 5 centimeters, that'll be just about enough. Um, you also need possibly a screw or some panel pins depending on what you'll do later on in the video. The tools you will need are a hot glue gun, a knife, um, a hammer, a, s a small hammer is preferable for panel pins because it's easier to use. You can have some files, that's optional, and a saw. You will also need a long bolt and a power drill with a 10 millimeter bit. You will also need a piece of 6 millimeter diameter dowel. What you need to do is get your scrap plywood and design a bolt that you're going to have in your gun. So you need to have uh, a nice big chunk at the bottom so it doesn't crack. So the bolt design I'm going for is this. So it's got about a centimetre and a half at the top and about three centimetres at the bottom so it gives it lots of room when it gets put on the bike. After you've cut out your design it should look something similar to this. Obviously you can choose your own look for your bolt but this is the basic look I'm going for. And then what you need to do now is do exactly the same pattern on another piece of plywood. You should now have two very similar designs and what we're going to do now is uh, stick them together. To stick the two halves together we're going to use panel pins. So if you just put three up the centre. The next step is to neaten up your bolt a bit using a file. The next step is using a drill and a 10mm drill bit drill through both sections of plywood that you've stuck together, leaving a bit of plywood on either side so it doesn't make it too thin. Once you've drilled the hole on your bolt, you then need to get the bike pump off of your gun and take off the end. This may require a lot of force. You then slide the bolt onto the gun. Now we can put the mechanism back together except this time it has the bolt. You should now have the completed mechanism section for the bolt action rifle. Our final step we need to drill a hole that's six millimeters wide so a white pen end can fit in there, the barrel of our gun. To make the five round magazine First you'll need to get one of your pieces of pen tube and make a hole in it that is just big enough for a BB to get through. I usually do this by cutting a small hole in the top. So once you've got your small hole, um, to make it an even round hole you're going to put the end of your knife just in it. It involves a lot of precision and spin it round like that until it's big enough for a BB to fit through. Right, so after you've made the hole big enough for a BB to just just about easily slide through, um, you need to make sure there's no bits of plastic debris around and get rid of them. And then what you're going to need to do is get your another piece of pen tube and create a, a curved edge. So you need to take away where the black bits are to create um, 
a kind of dip in the in the end of the plastic. Hopefully you should have come up with something looking like this. For the next part of making the fibre magazine, you need to get your tic tac boxes and rip off this um, plastic bit here and make two perfectly round holes here which are big enough to allow the white pen through. So we'll just cut off the white part with scissors and then we'll use the same technique as we did with the first pen tube. So you create a small hole and then make it bigger. After finishing all your holes you should get your first piece of tubing with the hole on the side, push it right through so a bit comes out on the end and um, also the, the holes line up and that's where you're now going to get the second piece of tubing with the curved end push it through it's alright if it's tight cause that's better because it's more airtight and line it up so they fit snugly together right so that is the first stage of the five round at this ch stage you should check if um, uh, BB can go down, fall down, and if it will land in the magazine. doesn't matter if it doesn't, but um, yeah, you can just take it all apart and make sure everything fits smoothly together. After that step, you need to use a hot glue gun and seal all around the edges, here, here, and there, but also what would be advisable is to take off the back plastic cap of the um, of the tic tac box and then once you're inside there use glue to seal around here to stop air coming back out this end of the tic tac box try and maybe get glue around back past it but keeping them tight together because you don't want any glue going down into the barrels Okay, so after you've sealed all the glue, uh, it should look something like this. This is the one that I use in my videos that have the five round magazine on the bolt action rifle. This one's obviously got a shorter uh, magazine and um, you can see I've actually put a hole in it to allow glue this side of the pipes meeting area so it will keep the whole thing airtight. This you can see works by BB goes down and the rod pushes it into the chamber and that can be powered either by hand or with an elastic band. An elastic band is more tricky to use because you have to get just the right amount of pressure on it so it doesn't push more than one BB into the chamber. So if there's too much pressure when it fires one BB will fly out except the elastic band will crush another one out where there's still air coming out the bike pump. Once you've done that you should get a nice round hole that with some reasonable force you can push the magazine into it. So there you have it, the bolt action rifle converted from the BB rifle. All we have to do now is get our piece of dowel and use it to push down the BBs into the chamber. We could use an elastic band, it is more difficult though. Uh, a change you might want to do after watching this video is add another piece of pen on to the end as the barrel is actually quite short and that will increase FPS slightly.